Oi, Tomás! Hi, folks! One of my subscribers asked me to um, go through the pros and cons of the small blocks versus the power shelf. Now that I've been running it for a couple of months, uh, so I'm going to do that. I have made up a little comparison grid um, of the pros and cons, and so I'll get into it. Pros of the power shelf are you can buy the battery holders from eBay or AliExpress versus on the small blocks you have to have either a 3D printer of your own or access know someone who's got one or know somewhere to buy the services of a 3D printer. The big thing about this is you can swap the cells or groups at any time. So that's the, the critical benefit of this over any system where you've got uh, everything soldered in. Another benefit of the power shelf is that it's a much better design for a server rack. So if you're not going to be mounting on a, on a wall, then having um, shelves of these on a, on a rack would be better than the small blocks. Although you can put the small blocks onto a server, this is just fundamentally more shelf-like. Some of the negatives of the, of the power shelf, you can't really wall mount this. You, you could technically hang it on a wall, but it's, um, it's so thin that it's not very wall space efficient. Uh, although, if you wanted a wall of 18650s of all different colours, then that would be pretty amazing, and you could use these to have a, a vast like art piece of just 18650s hanging on the wall that also happened to be your power wall. Um, so, that, that actually sounds quite nice. Uh, another issue that I have with this particular implementation is I... I riveted these battery holders onto this very flimsy three-ply, which is is too flimsy. So um, you need to use something better than that. Another issue with the with this is the battery holders have to be mounted really solidly. You can't just glue them down because when you pull these out, um, they you do sometimes need quite a lot of force. So what I did was rivet the battery holders in, you can see the rivets down there just, which works really well, but it does mean that when you look on the back, you've got all these rivets, which could potentially, if the plastic sleeving on this was ripped or damaged in some way, this could be shorted to the um, negative of the battery. And so that means you can't put this on a metal shelf the way it is. Because if this, this one's shorted to that negative and this is shorted to that negative, um, you don't want a short circuit between here and there. That would be bad. So you can't put this in the way that I built it here. You can't put that on a metal server rack shelf, for example. So... Um, I need to work something else out um, and possibly I'll just put a, a sheet of um, real estate signage under there and then have that sitting on the um, on the server rack when I get that up, up and running and that's all the pros and cons I could think of for the power shop then moving to the power wall like that. So the pros and cons of the small bl blocks were if you've got a 3D printer then you can print virtually everything you need in terms of battery holders. It is very easily DIN rail mountable which makes it really easy to put on a wall or a board or something like that and that's quite convenient. You can replace a block or a group very easily 
I've shown in other videos how you just unclip it from the DIN rail mount, unplug it here and um, slap in a new one. So it's really quick and simple to to either upgrade or repair some problem with, with a group. Um, those are all the pros. Cons were you can't buy these from eBay or AliExpress. Can't swap cells within a group nearly as easily as the power shelf. And that was the only downside I could think um, for these. Uh, thinking about the big picture for my system, the way I like to add capacity to my wider system is to build up one kilowatt hours at a time. Uh, so the, the process that I'm settling into is I will grab a group of cells, sort them using repacker.com, that sort site. Thank you Chris for that. Then feed them into the power shelf and run them connected to this the, the whole group, whole system for a couple of weeks monitor how they go in order to establish that the groups of cells that I've got are nicely balanced. The perfect scenario is that you've got seven groups of perfectly balanced cells. Then, once you've got those, I can make up a group in the small blocks and then add that to the system. So for my purposes, having both the power shelf using the battery holders and the small blocks is, is a really good process for adding capacity to my overall system. Um, I quite like knowing that my cells are nicely balanced before I actually do any soldering up. So there you have it. Um, two systems, they're both really quite good. If you don't have a 3D printer, I can certainly recommend the small, the um, battery holders as a way to go. If you're thinking of doing a server rack mounted setup then these are quite good. If you still have your heart set on a power wall scenario then these are quite nice. So it's all good. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Cheers!